Hey hey everybody, it's me Shadow Strike and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. Yes, I know I am super duper late to this. I tried to make a video on this, like around the time that it first came out, but my computer at the time was utter crap and so it did not want to work. But with a new computer, I am finally going to play Poppy Playtime. I know, chapter 3 is out now, so I figured may as well get into it and try and catch up in time for chapter 4. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, chapter 1, a tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co, you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Sounds spooky. Nope. Oh. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. I'd prefer not, honestly. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. I'm a real boy! Playtime! And That's Pinocchio's if you've cousin. ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Doesn't look very magical. It looks lovely. Okay, that was something. You see, when I first tried to record a video on this, that whole, oh wait, what is this? Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here, find the flower. Okay, so that was, must be a letter that was sent to me. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so when I first tried to record this, that whole video at the start was like super laggy and nothing matched. And when I spawned in, I couldn't move. Unless I put the graphics all the way down so everything looked like blocks. Welcome. So, hello. Oh! Tape. Can I take this? Leif Pier closing. I can't get this. I need to find those gravy hand things. Where do I get them from? Oh, eat a direct. Oh, I probably need to get a code. Where do I get a code from? Oh. This might be a good place to start. These are open. Something's ripped out of them. Candy cat. Oh, it was a train! Oh, wait, is the train? Is the train the clue? I'm gonna try and be big brain this time. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, this moves. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is this? Green, pink, uh, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Is that it? Green, pink, yellow, red. We're gonna try that because I don't know what else to do. I've accidentally already highlighted the blue. Oh, hang on. Yep, green, pink, yellow. No? <laughs> The train was not the answer. I thought I was being super big brained. Apparently not. Is it the blocks? Oh jeez. What what's the what's the code? Is it on the floor? No. I thought for sure this train was gonna be it. Oh wait, I did it wrong! Green, yellow wait, green, pink, yellow, red. Oh, I did it wrong. I didn't even do it right. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink. Why did I put blue? Where's that? I don't know what it is. Oh, E to pick up items. Okay, yo, wait, hold up. I need to go get this one out here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Hi, my name is Late Pierre, and Hi. I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, 
just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. Oh. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. Oh, lovely. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. I've got no idea if it is, but I'm assuming it will be, turn out to be. Right. Oh. Hey, Tanko. Oh, dang seat. Grab pack. Oh, yeah, I figured that was what that was. Tighten the straps. No, I just want to leave it on loosely. Yeah, we've all seen this, right? I know how this works. Oh, everyone knows about the grab pack. Can I take this? Oh, there. <laughs> this makes me feel unusually happy. Oh, I'm st this, right? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh. What in the? I can't even get it. Why can't I get it? Oh, there we go. What the heck? Oh, wait. I, I probably could have just jumped over here. I don't know why I was trying to do it from back there. For some reason, I thought you couldn't go in here. Oh, there he is. He's bestie himself. Huggy Wuggy 1984. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. Wow. Love that. I don't have a red hand yet. Which door am I meant to go in? That's locked. That's locked. Oh! Right, that one. That one. Oh, jeez. Please, for good. <gasps> you just... You just stay right there, buddy, okay? I'm just gonna go... You stay there, buddy. Oh. You stay in there. What am I doing? Rusty pole? What opened? Is there a security camera there? Is somebody watching me? Wouldn't surprise me, actually. Remember, do be kind to others. Show up on time. Do not hide behind doors to scare life peer. Don't stay past 8 p.m. Mrs. Company time. Uh, or misuse! <laughs> misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation without authorization. Oh. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Grab to divert power. Oh. Oh, um. Oh. I'm assuming it's this. Do I go to this one as well? Oh, it's not long enough. Oh, jeez! I've done it! I'm a genius! It was a really easy puzzle, but I've done it either way. Let me go see my pal, Huggy. Who's gone? Of course he is. This gives me anxiety. <laughs> I like that you can grab him. Sorry, I just thought you can grab them. Now I can go in here, right? Why is there a pile of box at the end? <gasps> there was an arm. No, Huggy's down there. 
No, Huggy's there. Oh, right, don't tell me where she wants me to go in here. No, he was in there. I saw him. I saw his arm. <laughs> it's just Steve. It's just Steve. It's just Steve. He's. Uh, imagine he's on the roof. Ah. Uh, what is this? Oh, I just threw it across the room. Orange. There should be a. T what did I do to my. Oh, hey. Oh. There should be a tape somewhere, right? Where's the tape located? Duh! Not there. I don't want to risk missing the tape. Have I missed it? I don't want to come up here. I want the tape. Okay, it must be up somewhere then. What's this? I don't know what that is. Oh, there we go. Do I want to go down here or am I going to get stuck? Side's broken. Uh, it makes sense. Let's go. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I rich. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? No. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphan shots. Right. I guess it's a nice program. On brand. Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's it's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is is that even a word? A bit of Okay, so Rich is a little bit cranky, but he loves orphans. Can I go in here? Oh, I can't even go in there. I want to put this in here. Can I put this in the hole? God, I want to put it in the hole! That no, doesn't go in. Fine. Is this it? Oh, that's it. My body. Um. Oh! Wonderful. Oh, I'm getting the other grab hand! That's what I'm doing! I didn't know what I was actually trying to do. Back up we go. Remember to take breaks. Breaks longer than 10 minutes are not permitted! Wow, what a wonderful break. Can I get over this? Oh, it's gonna get brought to me! Over there. Give me that. Give it to me. I want that. Yes. Heck yes. I don't want it to go up there. I don't think you can. Now I've got to worry about two hands. I don't like the look of this. I can crouch. I don't like the look of that either. circuit somewhere. Oh, there's this way here too. Oh, wait, what? Hold up. Oh, jeez, I'm lost. It's two. Oh, this is one. Oh, I got it. Never mind. I'm a genius. I've got to figure it out. Whoa! I got flung! I'm going in the dark. I can't see what's happening. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Drop it. Ah! Stop it! Dropping toy parts on my head. Flip! I don't like this. Oh. Oof. Okay. That was something. Oh, make a friend! 
Our founder, Elliot Lugwood, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet of all the amazing things that he created, the Maker Friend Machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint or assemble into the quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back-breaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Aww, it's the job stealer machine. Oh, is that a lever? Oh, I need to get parts. How do I do that? Not like that. Okay, where do I go to get parts then? Oh, I need to put the toy in there. Okay. I think I'm too stupid for this game. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, it needs power though. So is there like another circuit? Oh, up there, up there, up there. Okay. I'm just blind. As well as stupid. Do, 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 do. Oh, another tape. Okay. That's something I need to find. Um. Oh. Yes, nice. I'm really, when I find tapes, I'm really hesitant to try and actually continue in case I miss the chance to get the tape. I don't know where it would be though. Um, tape, 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 where are you, my love? You should be bright pink, so I should be able to find you fairly easily. I see you keep sliding down. It does this in every video that I try to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it then. How am I meant to do this? Oh, wait, I should have gone and pulled that probably. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait! Oh, oh, well, then. Ah! Ah! I found it! I found it! I am a genius! Oh, heck yeah! Heck yes! Pro gamer! I totally would have missed that! So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory <gasps> where they can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. Your body just gets older and older, and then you die. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something, right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. Well, that's a lie, because I'm going to pull a Peter Pan and stay young forever, so... My body ain't aging! Wait, 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 wait. Brain skills. I'm using my brain skills. Oh, heck yeah. Ma'am, check a lamp. Wait, wait. There we go. Flip, yes. <gasps> oh, what did I do? Oh, was there full damage? I thought I'd be fine if I just jumped. Oh, I broke my ankles. I'm sorry. I broke bro's ankles. Well, how do I do it then? Power's on. It's work. on thing to the entire machine because I'm not seeing one what am I doing was there more up there I was meant to look at oh, I can't even look. ah 
I keep breaking my ankles? Why is there not like a control panel for this? The power's on. What else do I do? screamed in a game. I didn't realize he could just go to spawn. Right. Right, I'm gonna watch where I'm going this time and not try and look behind me to see him. Oh, there he is. I see. Trick. Okay. I don't know what it just told me not to do. Oh, frick, frick, frick. I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Oh, jeez, 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 jeez. Can I just run straight for the opening? Oh no, because it doesn't open until Huggy is free. Oh, it makes you get so close. Okay, let's go. Hey, buddy. Go down! I've just killed myself. I've killed myself. I've killed myself. I've killed myself. This 
way. There we go. I found it. 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 I guarantee you, he's way close behind me now. Breathing! Jeez! 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 Ah! Oh, I made a mistake. Made a mistake. Mistake. Made a mistake. Made a mistake. Wait. Ah! 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 Run! Stop! Don't look back. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm so screwed. 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 I'm going so slow. Ah! Uh, I'm screwed. 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 Jeez! 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 Oh, he's gone. Oh, did I get him? Oh. Oh, he's gone. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why was that so horrifying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? My heart is like pounding. Jeez. Say that. Goodness me! What a flip! <laughs> Final log in relation. Experiment one zero screaming. zero six. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all others. Why are there people screaming in the background? Though still people missing, dying. Today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have, under no circumstances, been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of- Oh, he died. Why is everybody dying in the background? Jeez. Okay. Well, I'm still trying to recover. Why are there sacrifices? No, run, danger, turn around, no, stop, no, stop, go back, run, stop. Well, let's do the exact opposite of what all those notes are telling me to do. I'm gonna shut the door behind me because I'm polite. What's with the music? I don't like that. House. Oh, there she is, everybody. It's Poppy herself. Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna have a look around your room before I free you. Oh. Take this poppy's pillows. <sighs> okay, I suppose you want me to free you. <laughs> Why'd I do that? Poppy, please don't kill me. I freed you. you. My case. Yes, I did. Should I not have done that? Oh, I'm done. <laughs> well, um, yeah, well, that was good. <laughs> I see. Oh, Stella Graber is the same voice as Poppy. I mean, well, the person who voices Stella Graber also voices Poppy. Interesting. Interesting. Um, that huggy chase was genuinely terrifying. Um, the animation of him crawling through those vents was really good and abs uh, horrifying. I, um, this is genuinely a little bit, fr <laughs> that freaked me out. That was a real legitimate scream, okay? <laughs> I never expected, <laughs> never expected that. Portuguese cast, look at all the different languages they've got it in. Portuguese. So, yeah, that was Poppy Playtime Chapter 1, everybody. Um, I will definitely be playing Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 at some point, And hopefully Chapter 4 will be out soon and we can play that one too. I understand why people... We're so obsessed with this game. It's it's good. I um kind of sort of would like the storytelling 
perspective, that little bit that's giving me, it kind of reminds me a little of FNAF. You know, like, there's the toys and they're very clearly possessed or something because they're alive, obviously. They're talking about experiments. I'm not, I'm not completely clueless. I've seen some videos that have come out. I, I can't, I have to be honest. I've seen a lot of the videos of Puppet Playtime, so I'm not completely clueless. It's definitely giving FNAF vibes. But yeah, that was genuinely terrifying. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Strike out.